Hi, I'm Ron Klain, former White House Ebola Response Coordinator. Four months ago, I made this video, warning that the Trump administration's response to COVID was going off the tracks. At the time, people said it was alarmist. Fewer than 20 Americans had died from coronavirus. Now, four months later, we're nearing 140,000 American deaths. The Trump administration response to this crisis has clearly failed. And the questions I get most often now are, what would Joe Biden have done differently at every step along the way? And most importantly, what would he do now to stop the coronavirus epidemic? Let's break it down. Before I get into the Joe Biden plan to fight COVID, let's go step by step as to how we got to where we are now. Back in March, when the crisis was really accelerating and healthcare workers were desperate for masks, gloves, and gowns to protect themselves as they were fighting the disease, Joe Biden proposed using all presidential powers to ramp up the production of that vital gear, including using the Defense Production Act. What did Donald Trump do? He implied that our healthcare workers lacked the gear they needed because they were stealing it. Listen to what Donald Trump said. Where are the masks going? Are they going out the back door? Then in April, as the epidemic grew, the lack of testing was having the disease get out of control. Now, Joe Biden proposed a pandemic testing board to deliver on Trump's broken promise that every American who needed a test could get one. What did Donald Trump do? He said that people should fight the disease by injecting themselves with disinfectant. Really, that's what he said. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection? In April and on into May, experts said we could slow the spread of the disease if we wore masks around other people. What did Donald Trump do? He refused to wear a mask. He divided the country by attacking people who were wearing masks. Joe Biden, he led by example. In June, Joe Biden, advised by experts, offered a detailed plan on how to open our businesses safely to protect workers and consumers. Donald Trump, he led a chaotic reopening, praising local officials who ignored his own experts, putting our health and our economy at risk. Now it's July. Nearly 140,000 Americans are dead. Trump's response has failed. What's the best evidence for that? Well, look at this chart. Back in March, the United States and Europe were facing similar COVID crises. Since then, Europe has gotten the disease under control. But in the US, cases are still going up. We're at the worst levels of COVID ever. So why is it worse here in America? Because Donald Trump has waved the white flag in the fight against coronavirus. So that's how we got to where we are. Now, let's look at the Biden plan for fighting coronavirus. At the time we're taping this video, it's been weeks since Donald Trump spoke to the nation's leading infectious disease expert, Dr. Tony Fauci. Joe Biden has said his first phone call when he gets elected president will be to Dr. Fauci. He's got a detailed plan. You can read it on his website, joebiden.com. Here are six highlights. The Biden plan starts with fixing Trump's testing fiasco. He'd make sure that all Americans have access to regular, reliable, and free testing. He'd double the number of drive through tests, and he'd hire 100,000 or more contact tracers to make sure we're finding cases of the disease. Second, he'd launch a national strategy to acquire, produce, and distribute protective gear, PPE, to protect our frontline workers. He'd use his full authority under the Defense Production Act to make sure we have enough of this vital equipment. And he'd focus on producing more of it here in the United States. It'd create jobs for American workers and it'd make us less vulnerable to foreign supply chain disruption. Third, he'd accelerate the development of vaccines and treatments for COVID. And he'd deploy a smart plan for distributing that vaccine because discovering a vaccine isn't enough if it gets distributed in the same kind of fiasco as Trump's testing mess. Fourth, while Donald Trump has said he's going to take the United States out of the World Health Organization, Joe Biden would restore our ties to the WHO because you can't fight a global pandemic without a global approach and allies. That's the best way to keep Americans safe. Fifth, Joe Biden has a plan to safely reopen our businesses. This includes working with governors and mayors to require masks, and it means getting our workers the gear they need and the tests they need 
to be safe on the job. Sixth, Joe Biden would protect older Americans and those at higher risk. That means enforcing federal rules to protect nursing home patients, and it means testing for those in the highest risk groups. It also means special steps to make sure we're fighting the disease among our black and brown populations. So that's what Joe Biden will do to fight coronavirus. What can you do? Well, stay home when possible, and when you have to go out, practice social distancing. Wash your hands frequently, at least 20 seconds, with warm water and soap. And wear a mask when you're around other people. It's one of the best ways we can fight transmission of the disease. So choose wisely and stay safe.